Wanted to ask you about the handicapped parking placard that you're using to park for free all day. For me? Yeah. Oh, I know I have that car. This car right here. It's not mine. Oh, really? It's not mine. Day after day, the I-Team watched this construction worker finish up his shift in Boston Seaport District and then return to his Toyota sedan. In today's video, we're going to get to see how some local workers abuse the handicap parking to park for free in downtown Boston. Yeah, that's right, guys. A welcome into the channel uh, Monday, November 20th, 2023. And these workers in Boston, Massachusetts, parking downtown have figured out how to game the system. All they have to do is snag themselves a handicap placard theirs or somebody else's expired or not throw it up in their window and they can park at the downtown meters for free and the worst part is not only are they willing to do this as they're on construction jobs for probably the city or local buildings they don't like to get caught check out the confrontations right now New tonight, an I-Team investigation. Of course, parking in Boston isn't cheap, not at all. But we found a way you can park all day without paying a penny. Use someone's handicapped parking placard to score a free spot. Despite a new state law to crack down on fraud, we keep finding people cheating the system. Tonight, the I-Team's Ryan Kath confronts the drivers and asks what should be done to curb the abuse. I wanted to ask you about the handicapped parking placard that you're using to park for free all day. For me? Yeah. Oh, I know I have that car. This car right here. It's not mine. Oh, really? It's not mine. Day after day, the I-Team watched this construction worker finish up his shift in Boston Seaport District and then return to his Toyota sedan with the handicapped placard hanging in the rearview mirror. Even on days when he hitched a ride with a friend, he brought the placard along to score the free spot. Hey. Who does that placard belong to? He's my uncle. Your uncle's placard? Yeah. It belongs to a woman. You see how quick he took it down out of the windshield. He notices the camera there for a second. He takes it down out of the windshield, and when he's approached, he says, it's my uncle's placard. And the guy from the news reporting is like, uh, no, we already checked. It actually belongs to a woman. Yeah. The worker decided his best response was to walk away from our questions. Wanted to ask you about the handicap placard that you've been using to park for free. Whose placard is that? The I-Team learned the answer is a 62-year-old woman. We saw him repeatedly parking his pickup truck at meters near his project site. Do you have an answer for why you're using someone else's handicapped parking placard? And this worker's Nissan SUV was a fixture on D Street. He seemed nervous to spot our camera one day, first hiding behind a snowbank, then quickly scampering to his car to remove his wife's placard. You see how quick these people, they just, they have nothing to say. They know they're caught, they know they're busted, and they just get real quiet, right? And they just scatter. It's pretty nuts. State law allows anyone with one of these showing in the windshield to park for free at meters. And that's what caught the I-Team's attention, seeing car after car with a placard hanging all day long. What you've described is absolutely, you know, in violation of the law. Senator Eileen Donahue recently wrote a bill which increases fines and penalties for placard abuse. It's really to discourage and disincentivize people from using these inappropriately. But like... Yo, if she wants to disincentivize them from using it inappropriately, tow the cars. Watch how fast all those cars disappear the first time they all go to work using their wives or grandma's dead grandma, mom, whatever's placard. They pull up and go to work. And when they come back out in four hours for lunch or eight hours from work and that car is gone and they got to pay a $150 towing fee, an impound fee, a fine to the city, they lose the placard. It's uh, taken from them. Watch how quickly all those cars disappear. Oh, I'm just going to raise the fine, which they barely even enforce anyways. Tow the cars. Watch how quick it stops. Like the worker using someone's placard that expired in October, it doesn't seem like anyone is worried about getting caught. The I-Team learned Boston Transportation parking officers patrolling the streets don't even have the authority to enforce suspected placard abuse. It's a reason why a recent Inspector General report estimated the current system is costing cities like Boston millions of dollars per year in revenue. What do you think should happen with this parking meter exemption? I think we should look at it in further detail. I do see a lot of abuse. Disability Law Center Director Christine Griffin says with parking meters in Boston more accessible than ever, maybe it's time to make everyone pay. 
See, I, they're talking about making even the handicapped people pay for the parking, which I think is terrible. I think they should still get the free parking. But just tow. Anybody you suspect, there should be somebody. Th these guys don't have the authority walking around to, to enforce it. What's the point, right? You should have somebody who's walking around, who can enforce it, who has the authority, whatever their title might be. And they should walk down and check. If it's an expired placard or an expired thing that is legitimate but expired maybe they get a fine but if it belongs to somebody else and they get caught like they're easily being caught here tow the vehicle gone goodbye pretty easy i support this because it actually treats people with disabilities equally but for now it seems the only deterrent is public shaming on tv no, it's not or mine. youtube this isn't your car right here no no mm -mm. we've seen you driving it before this worker choosing a long walk instead of admitting this is her Lexus SUV with a 78-year-old woman's placard hanging in the mirror, leaving the evidence parked in the seaport late into the night. To tackle this problem, some states use a two-tier system. That means people who have disabilities that prevent them from being able to put coins in a meter continue parking for free, but everyone else with a placard has to pay. See, and that's this. that lady wasn't even willing to admit it was her car. It wasn't even the police. It was just the news because she didn't want to be shamed. They know. They're embarrassed. They absolutely are. But look, embarrassment's not going to make them stop doing it, clearly. Tow the cars. Really easy answer. Put me in charge of some of these cities. Good grief. For the I-Team, Ryan Kaff, WBZ News. Anyways, what do you think? Do you think that they should just get towed and get past all this fine and not enforcing it crap? Or do you think they should double the fines, increase the fines? They should make the handicap pay just like anyone else so no one's getting it for free, so there's no incentive to use those handicap placards? Look, my answer, tow the cars and it'll stop immediately. Fines, clearly not enough. Half of them probably don't even pay the fines. They just ignore them. There's no enforcement authority. There's Make it easy. Give them the authority. Have them call the tow truck. Watch how fast it ends. It's that simple, guys. Do you agree? Not agree? Leave in the comments section. As always, that belongs to all of you, and I appreciate you watching. If you could hit that like button, it helps the algorithm. It really means a lot to me. And subscribe to the channel. Make sure you stick around for all the future videos, including the one I recorded this weekend slash uh, today, earlier this afternoon, for you guys of my own recording. That will be out, uh, I hope, tomorrow. So thank you again for watching, and I will see everyone next time.